They are taking the move to North Atlanta, Georgia, maybe Alpharetta, Roswell, Johns Creek, Duluth, Beaufort, Cumming, or the surrounding areas. In this video, we're gonna take you around Duluth, Georgia. Now, this beautiful suburb has an amazing school district and it's right next to Johns Creek and Swanee very close also to i-85 now we will take you through some neighborhoods and show you some different price points of different homes so you can see what may fit with your budget if you stick around until the end i will share with you the best kept secret of these neighborhoods that you definitely don't want to miss and we are getting after it right now If this is your first time to the channel and you want to understand everything about living in Duluth, Georgia, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in North Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Livia Bika with Keller Williams, North Atlanta. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Swanee, Alpharetta, Johns Creek, Beaufort, Duluth, Sugar Hill or Oreo Cumming and we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in 9 days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is in the description below, so we can help you make a smooth move to North Atlanta and the beautiful suburb. So as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about Duluth, Georgia. Now Duluth is 22 miles northeast of Atlanta, and it's a gorgeous city right here in North Georgia. Duluth is very close to Johns Creek, and to Swanee. Like a part of Duluth actually will belong to Forsyth to Lambert High School, which is 10 out of 10. We're gonna talk about that amazing subdivision, which is a golf club community in a little bit. Now, Duluth population is approximately at 32,000 people. Uh, now, medium household income in Duluth is at 78,000 per family. This gorgeous city is number two best places to live in Gwinnett County right next to Johns Creek and Swanee. Very, very beautiful city. Now, 41% of the people that live in Duluth rent their home, while 59% own their home. Uh, now, Duluth also is number two of most diverse suburb to live in Georgia out of 166 suburbs, according to niche.com. Now, we're gonna take you to a few neighborhoods and show you some different price points of different homes. We were looking at our local FMLS to see what's the lowest price point for a single family home in Duluth. We found this property. Uh, this property is listed at $340,000. It's a five bedroom, three bed, approximately 3,100 square feet, built in 1940 on a 0.6 acre, no basement. Now, taxes for this property are $3,208 annually, and there is no HOA. It's walking distance to Duluth downtown, where you have dining, shopping, and entertainment. Amazing downtown in Duluth, like a lot of festivals they hold there, you know, restaurants, music, they have a flash pad. It is amazing, amazing. Now, this gorgeous home actually belongs to Shatahuchi Elementary, which is 7 out of 10. Coleman Middle, which is 7 out of 10, and Duluth High School, which is 6 out of 10. This actually was the lowest price point for a single family home in Duluth, $340,000. Not bad, five bedroom and three bed. And it's actually upgraded inside. So for those of you that are looking below 400, Duluth actually will have a few properties. I mean, it is, they have better prices than Johns Creek or Alpharetta. I mean, in Johns Creek and Alpharetta, below 400, you cannot find anything. So for those of you that are looking below 400, please give us a call and we will be more than happy to send you all the active listings and help you buy your next house here in North Atlanta. Now let's look at another property. Number two property that we found and it was listed at $409,000. Right now they lowered the price at $406,000. This home is built in 1992. It's a three bedroom, 2.5 bed, approximately 1400 square feet with no basement. This home is in Sweetwater Brook subdivision and it's a, you know, older subdivision. Homes usually are built in 1990. Again, it's close to I-85. Now, this property belongs to Kanoheda Elementary, which is 5 out of 10, Sweetwater Middle, 7 out of 10, 
and Borgmar uh, High School, which is 4 out of 10. Now, if you go higher in price, we will find better options for you in Duluth. We can look at uh, property number 3, which I wanted to show you, which is actually in a better subdivision and a better school district. Now, let's go jump in the car and go see uh, this gorgeous subdivision. It's called Plantation at River Brook. And uh, those, the homes there are built in 1992 to 1995, but they are gorgeous, beautiful subdivision. They also have a, a pond and a lake. They have uh, four tennis courts and a, uh, and a pool that has actually like a, a lake view. Gorgeous, gorgeous subdivision. Let's jump in the car and check this out. Our second stop this gorgeous home right here it's listed at five hundred and forty five thousand dollars it's a four bedroom 2.5 bed approximately 2900 square feet uh, taxes are five thousand nine hundred and twenty three dollars annually and there is an hoa at seven hundred dollars annually because this gorgeous subdivision has amazing amenities like pool uh, four tennis courts uh, a nice playground for the kids and it has some amazing uh, like uh, two or three ponds and some homes actually are, uh, they have a uh, lake access, like pond access. Now we are in Plantation at Riverbrook subdivision. Uh, we are in Chattahoochee Elementary, which is seven out of 10, Coleman Middle, which is seven out of 10, and Duluth High School, which is six out of 10. A beautiful subdivision. This home was built in 1992, no basement, but again, four bedroom, 2.5 bed at $545,000. Uh, now let's go check out the amenities. So we are still at Plantation at Riverbrook subdivision in Duluth and this gorgeous subdivision is so beautiful. If you see they have this beautiful pond right here and there are a few homes that have access to this pond. Uh, I'm assuming they also have some small boats for the water if you see it right here. Beautiful gorgeous subdivision so let's go check out the amenities right now. So these were the amenities right here, the pool with a nice pond view. They have four tennis courts there, a nice playground. Uh, this subdivision, it is absolutely gorgeous and it's in Duluth. Uh, a lot of beautiful homes here, four and five bedrooms. Let me show you the playground. Here are the tennis courts and they have also seating. And here is the playground. Okay, so we are back in the office. Let's look at number four home that we chose to show you today. Uh, now this home right here is listed at seven hundred thousand dollars it's a six bedroom 4.5 bed approximately 2900 square feet with a full finished basement gorgeous property it's in parsons run subdivision now taxes for this property are close to four thousand dollars annually and it belongs to an amazing school district. So if you see, if you go at 700,000, you will end up in an amazing school district. 
Now we are in Menlo Bridge Elementary, which is 7 out of 10, River Trail Middle School, which is 8 out of 10, and Northview High School, which is 9 out of 10. Amazing school district right here in Duluth, 700 and above. Now I wanted to tell you a little bit about the most the uh, amazing two golf club communities that are in Duluth, Georgia. Now we have San Marlo Country Club, which is an amazing community, and we have Sugarlove Country Club in Duluth, which is again an amazing golf club community. So let's look at San Marlo Country Club. This is an amazing golf club community in Duluth, very close to Swanee. Actually, San Marlo Country Club uh, belongs to Lambert High School, which is 10 out of 10, Riverwatch Middle, which is 8 out of 10, and John Creek Elementary, which is 8 out of 10. So San Marlo Country Club was voted as one of the top three best public golf courses in Atlanta. It has 24-hour gated surveillance, it has a swim team with over 200 swimmers that offer swim lessons in their swimming pools. They have a cabana with grill area, nine tennis courts, soccer field, volleyball and basketball courts, restaurant and fine dining. Uh, they do events and weddings. Also, this amazing subdivision was developed in 1995 and it has over 900 luxury homes with European and traditional styles. Now, homes in San Marlo Country Club are selling between 800,000 up to 3 million. There are a few listings available on the market right now in San Marlo Country Club. I wanted to show you this gorgeous property. It's listed at $1,269,000. This gorgeous home has 5,800 square feet, four finished basement, a flat backyard. So you have that option if you have a flat backyard here in Georgia, if you want to have a pool in your backyard, you can do that. Like you can hire a, a company that will install an amazing pool right in your backyard. Now, make sure you know the prices because it's very expensive. So pools here are usually starting between, you know, 75,000 up to 200,000 for a pool and jacuzzi to put it in your backyard. Now, depends exactly, uh, you know, what size you need, if you want to slide or not. Uh, so a lot of the homes in San Marlo Country Club ha have, have actually a pool in the back and jacuzzi and they are absolutely gorgeous, stunning homes. Now this home that we are talking about, it's a four bedroom, 3.5 bed, built in 2006. Taxes are usually 9,800 annually and there is an HOA of uh, 3,100 annually because of the amazing amenities that San Marlo Country Club has to offer. So a lot of luxury estates in San Marlo Country Club. If you are somebody that is looking for something like that and you wanna be in Lambert High School District, which is 10 out of 10, give us a call and we're gonna send you all the active listing and help you purchase the best option for you here in Georgia. Let's look at Sugarloaf Country Club, which is an amazing golf club community in Duluth. Now it's situated on 1,200 acres of breathtaking countryside within the gated community of Sugarloaf Country Club. Now this amazing community offers 27 hole of magnificent golf designed by iconic golfer and architect, Greg Norman. Home to the Bell South Classic Golf Tournament. Past winners include names such as Phil Mickelson, David Duval, and Tiger Woods. Can you believe that? This is amazing. Like when you will find European luxury and executive estate homes ranging from 1 million to 3 million in this amazing subdivision. Now, I wanted to tell you a little bit of the amazing amenities that Sugarloaf Country Club has. Now, it has a beautiful movie theater, a computer study library, an arcade for the kids, daycare center, three swimming pools, water slide, six clay and eight all-weather tennis courts patrol security 24 7 60 000 square feet clubhouse where you can have events fine dining with restaurants amazing and gorgeous subdivision uh, right next to i-85 so very easy access from sugarloaf country club to i-85 which will take you to atlanta now mandatory uh, HOA for Sugarloaf Country Club will be $2,500 annually. Now, sports, social, and golf membership, of course, are additional. So take that in consideration uh, if you are thinking to buy in Sugarloaf Country Club. 
Now we found eight homes available in this gorgeous subdivision. The lowest price point in Sugarloaf Country Club is this gorgeous property, 1.5 million. It's gonna be 6,000 square feet, six bedrooms, seven baths with finished basement. Amazing, amazing property in this very nice golf club uh, community. Now we look to see the highest price point. Now the highest price point in Sugarloaf Country Club is this beautiful property listed at $3 million. Now what $3 million can get you in a country club here in Duluth? 12,500 square feet living, amazing. Seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, full finished basement, pool and jacuzzi in the back, two terrace level, three car garage, this home is situated on a 1.15 acre lot and it's built in 1999. So for those of you that are looking for a luxury estate in a country club, Duluth has that. Like we have amazing subdivisions here in, in Duluth and in Alpharetta, Swanee, Cumming, Sugar Hill, anywhere in Georgia. Now, if you want to be in a subdivision in Duluth, because we are talking about Duluth today, give us a call and we will be more than happy uh, to guide you through the entire process and help you purchase one of these amazing properties that we have here in Duluth. I hope this video was helpful for those of you that are thinking to move to Georgia and to Duluth in general or anywhere in Georgia. Just give us a call and we will help you. Uh, my name is Livia Bika with Keller Williams, North Atlanta. And until next time, I hope to see you around town.